Hi, in this video, we're going to solve the fifth numerical from the exercise for the chapter motion in a plane. So, we have a question diya gaya hai, usme we have a man, as you can see, and he's throwing a ball. Now, this ball is not just traveling in X direction, it is also traveling in Y direction. So, basically, it is completing motion in horizontal as well as vertical direction, because of which iska jo resultant motion hoga, that would be in the form of a projectile motion, it would trace a parabolic path. Now, we have studied some projectile motion ke kuch formulas padhe hai, and we will be using those formulas in this chapter. Uh, sorry, in this... Uh, uh, and we will be using those formulas for solving this particular question. Now, first of all, what is given to us? Well, the distance that this ball travels in horizontal distance is given to us. And they have said that this distance is not your ordinary horizontal distance. They have said that this distance is the maximum horizontal distance for this particular setup. Now, by addition of maximum horizontal distance, this becomes a special sum. And why? I'll tell you in a bit. But first of all, let us write down the given value. So, horizontal distance ko hum in projectile motion, we call it as range. So, and we represent it using the letter R. But as I said, this is a maximum horizontal distance. So, I'm going to denote it with a special symbol R max. And this value is given as 80 meters. Now, Coming back to our keyword that is maximum. Now, since they have said it's the maximum horizontal distance, we can be sure that is projectile ko job launch kya hoga. So every projectile is launched at some angle of uh, projections. Kisi ek angle pe se launch karte hai. And because it's the maximum horizontal distance possible, we can say that this angle has to be 45 degrees because it's the condition for achieving maximum range. So, if you are saying that this distance is maximum, so I can say that my angle of projection, AOP, I represent generally using it theta, has to be 45 degrees. Okay, so these are the two given quantities. One, which we directly given directly, and second, which we have to derive a little logic. Karna pada. Now, what do we need to find? Well, we need to find the maximum height, which we se represent karte hai, uh, for this particular setup. Okay, so that is unknown to us. Only one quantity we need to find. And what, what sort of formulas we'll be using? Well, we'll be using the formula for range, obviously, because that's been given to us. Now, when we define range ko define karte in projectile motion, we define it using multiple formulas, but we'll represent it using the main formula, that is R is equal to U square sine 2 theta. But theta is the angle of projection and divided by G. Okay. But ye hai for this formula is for the normal uh, case. But when we know that our theta is equal to 45 degree, if we substitute this value of this uh, uh, theta as 45 in this above formula, we get a new formula for R max. And you can use this formula for other sum as well. This is U squared by G. So this is a new formula added to your formula list. And this is a special case formula for when you have to calculate your maximum range. So you can calculate using u square by g ka formula. Now, what is the second set of formula we need to discuss? Well, we have to calculate height. So we'll be using the formula to calculate height. So in projectile motion, one of the formulas to calculate height is given as u square sine square theta by 2g. Now, this is 2 theta and this is g. So, but as I said, in this case, we know the value of theta. So, if we substitute this value of theta as 45 degree in this formula, we do get an updated formula. This formula comes out to be u square by 4g. Just substitute theta as 45 degree in this equation and you will get this. And from, if I compare both this equation, I can say h can also be written as r max by 4 because R max is U squared by G. So this again is a shortcut formula. Make sure you write down this as well in your formula books. Uh, this is very useful for your CET exams or your MCQs and stuff like that. So hence, uh, we started with two formulas, but we came at one hybrid formula. And that's the only piece of formula that we are going to actually use. So, so first of all, we'll write that, okay, we know that we know that h is equal to r max by 4. 
for a special condition when my range is maximum and we know that range ka value is 80 so 80 by 4 therefore h is equal to 20 meters with this but he come steps may hamara jo numerical has solved okay because we knew this particular formula and we derived this formula as well you can actually start by this step as well in your exams no need to derive this formula this is just for your understanding you need to write this formula though okay so here are your screenshots this is the place where you take screenshot for your data visualization and next is the screenshot for your solving which is very very small i hope this helped you Thank you.